Bears fans, I am backstage with the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. All right, John, so congrats on your win. Uh, how do you feel right now? Yes, I, I, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it because I, I know all about Tom Scott and I know he's got the very precise record of what I've got for boxing. He's a very high win to low, 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 loss ratio. And uh, I think he was a better boxer than me, but I was absolutely petrified for two weeks because it's different when it's bare hands. On a big, massive live stage, that's going to stay there forever. And for the performance I put on, I just can't, I just can't believe it. I was actually... I'm, I don't know how I feel, I'm upset. I feel bad for him because all of his family has come down to support him. And I've just seen all the comments, people saying, oh, you'll smash him you, you, like you always do. He's never lost like that. And I've just out, where I have really outclassed him in a way. And uh, I had all my home support here. So I'm really I'm happy, I'm happy, but I'm upset for on his part. And I'm so. What was the game plan going into the fight? Plan, my game plan actually is because I know I assumed he was a better boxer. I've been because um, I, I know you like a clinching BKFC, where I've got the MMA background. I've been working like MMA clinching, where the head control, under arms like that. So I've got one hand, I control his arm, hit him. But I got told when I was here, you're not allowed to do that. So that just went out the window. So I had to revert, revert to my boxing, and my boxing was better than my, everything else. So I'm happy about that. So how did it feel going into into the fight with this crowd here in Newcastle? Oh, it's, it's good. It's good. It's, um, it's just to be on the show. It's, it's something else. You know what I mean? I took a, a, a fight on Gromdats, like the Europeans' biggest show, and I didn't know nothing about it. It was my first go, and I got. To, I did get set up. I got put up against this giant, 120, 12 kilo. He was like that, and I'm a natural middleweight, and uh, I don't absolutely outclass. I, I, Good class, I, I outbox him in a way, sort of thing, but I was never going to win, that's too much from. But I, had, I didn't know Andrew Bakewell, he was the only one that was over there that I sort of knew, but I didn't know he had BFBA and taken on, um, he'd done my corner anyways. And after, afterwards, he told us, he goes, um, oh, I've, I've got a BKFC coming up, would you like to be on that? So he was totally impressed by my performance. He, was ex he just thought I was just some journeyman, like a tough journeyman, that's all he heard. So that's how I'm on the show. And for, I, was, I was scared for two weeks to come and perform the way I have, I'm something else. But it paid off, so uh, how does this win now elevate your career? I love it, I don't know, I just, I, I, I think a lot I've done, I've got a high record win in uh, unlicensed boxing, and I just sort of lost the heart for it. So I wasn't training properly, I wasn't getting my weight down properly. This is something different, I've got a fire back in my stomach, where in this performance tonight, I'll, I'll, I'll love it. I, I've got money now to provide for my uh, family for Christmas. They'll be happy. They've been watching us. So, hello, kids. Love yous. Um, like I say, I, I just sometimes doubt my ability until I get in there and my ability shines. I just underestimate myself sometimes. So, whatever it is, whatever happens, happens. If I get a contract, then I'm happy to any sponsors you would like to thank? Um, oh, yes. I would. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My main sponsor is Yola Lounge, Albafira, Surfer, Paul Paul, Surfless, and um, uh, Rachel. Rachel Surfless, you've got the bar over there. They're my main sponsor for all my kit. Um, as you can see, Yola. Um, I'll have to. Chief Skip Hire, they appear for Mimma Medical. Um, Ford, Svensson, Otta Clutter. Oh, yeah. We did our ones and two ones. I can't do it off the top of my head. Ah, oh, hey. A1 Fire Stop and Services and Phil Davy Phillips. Davy Phillips signs. I want to thank all you. Oh, also, also Paul Ryan Douglas, PD coaching for uh, helping us with some knowledge to getting the weight down. That's that's all of them for now. I'm John Ferris for Bare Knuckle News and no one beats me to the punch, that's for sure. Has, has, has.